this week our title is BAM, I'm Loaded Again. But BAM has a different meaning for me in this episode where it actually is an acronym for what we are going to discuss. First off, let's kind of discuss what is bloating. And bloating is just that full, tight, or swollen abdomen and you can feel really distended, it can be hard, it can be painful. Um, sometimes it's really obvious on the outside where you, your belly looks really distended, almost like you're pregnant. Um, for some, it just you just feel like it's bloated on the inside, uh, but you really can't notice it on the outside by much. So it's definitely a, a sign or something that you wanna pay attention to. You should not be having bloating after every time you eat. Um, it's not normal to feel bloated all the time. So that's where you have to kind of um, work with someone skilled in really understanding bloating and help you kind of unravel it so you can figure out why am I so bloated all the time and why am I having these additional symptoms? So, um, so really what we're talking about with BAM is bile acid malabsorption. And this is just where you have an increase of bile acids in the colon. What are bile acids and why do we need them? Um, but bile acids are made in the liver. We store them in the gallbladder. So if you don't have a gallbladder, then you are just going to be having this um, light trickle of the bile into your intestines. Um, and then if you eat a large volume of fat and your body acknowledges that, then you might get a little bit more um, extra at one time, kind of a dump type of effect. Um, but bile acids emulsify fats. So why is this important? Bile will help emulsify that or break it down into finer particles um, so then your body can absorb it and utilize it. It also aids in lipid absorption. So we need bile to break down the fat molecules into really tiny fine particles, um, but then we also need it to help us absorb the fat um, that we're eating in our diet. And without that, you would have fat malabsorption. So um, vitamins A, D, E, and K, you would be deficient in. So um, it's super important. So we need to make sure we have adequate amounts of bile so that they can do their jobs. Uh, but we don't need too much. Um, we need kind of the right balance. Let's talk about the symptoms of the bile acid malabsorption. You can have diarrhea. You can also be constipated. So you got BAM of bile acid malabsorption or bad bile acid diarrhea. You get bloating in both of those. Um, you can also have fecal incontinence. So what this means is you don't have any control over your bowel movements and they hit you very urgent and frequently. Um, gas, so this is another thing that you'll experience a lot of gas. Abdominal pain, kind of like I talked about this painful, hard, um, bloated, swollen abdomen. Um, greasy stools, and then um, the stools are sometimes hard to flush. Um, so those are some very common symptoms of the bile acid malabsorption. So if you are experiencing the bloating with some of these, then guess what? You might want to talk to your doctor about the bile acid malabsorption or BAM. There are three different types of BAM. Um, one, the type one is usually related to a structural issue. So maybe you've had surgery, either, um, you know, urgent surgery, like an emergent type of thing where you were in an accident. Type two is idiopathic, which um, really they, they don't understand. They think that is maybe more of a genetic link, um, but that is kind of evolving as we learn more about genetics. But you kind of have an overproduction of bile and that's why you're having these symptoms. Um, the third type is kind of a secondary. It is you're having this bile acid malabsorption secondary to another cause, which could be your gallbladder was removed, um, you have chronic pancreatitis, 
you have celiac disease or you have SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. Um, so those make it um, you more prone. So keeping all that in mind, I just want you to, again, have some good information, have a good talk track with your doctor when you are trying to figure out why am I bloated? Because no one should be bloated all the time after your meals um, consistently or chronically. It may happen every now and then based on some of the foods or just kind of your environment or things going on. Um, occasionally, I think that's you know part of life. But if that's continually happening and you're continually feeling pretty miserable after a meal and you're feeling like the bloating is getting worse and worse and belly distension, that is definitely something that you want to talk to your doctor, talk to your um, bariatric team. Ignoring all of this and just thinking it's no big deal, um, but you're addressing maybe the, the root cause of what's going on.